Good evening. Parts of Grenfell Street were closed to traffic this morning amid fears the road would cave in due to a burst water main. Tens of thousands of litres gushed through the city, leaving around a dozen businesses without water. A city street turned gushing waterway. The huge main ruptured just after 9 o'clock this morning, flooding Gawler Place and Grenfell Street. Thought it was going to come in through the door. Traders cut off from the last minute Mother's Day rush. We've got people picking up flowers um, all day today, so um, if they can't get in to pick up their flowers, it's going to be interesting. The basement of the HSBC building was inundated with water. As MFS crews scrambled to minimise the damage, which is still estimated at thousands of dollars. It's just like a big pipe coming through and filling it up. Nearby businesses were lucky to escape any flooding. The water was flowing down the street and uh, just over the footpaths. Uh, fortunately for us, it hasn't come up into the shop. Authorities, though, were forced to close off parts of the busy thoroughfare amid fears the road could cave in. Authorities are still trying to determine exactly how much water was lost here this morning as the patience of business owners and the public wears thin. It's the fourth time in three years the same pipe has burst. SA Water need to start looking in their own back door and realising that they need to maintain the water system better. Maybe a little maintenance would, would uh, go a long way. And Rhett Burney joins us live. Rhett, repairs are still underway. That's right, wheel crews are still working here behind me, trying to reconnect water to around 10 buildings that have been without it for about uh, pretty much the whole day. Now, despite the number of times that this particular pipe has broken in the last few years, SA, Wa uh, SA Water says that it has had no immediate plans to upgrade it. Instead, it says it will keep a steady eye on the infrastructure. Now, as you can imagine, that's little reassurance to those that work and live around here who can do nothing more now but simply sit back and wait for the next big break. Back to you, Will. Thanks for the update, Rhett.